guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays, and in this video, I got my cup of coffee, and I'm feeling very, very casual because today, I'm doing my Switch collection. Now, I do these once a year to kind of um, show you guys my collection, to clean my cubby too, because, you know, you gotta dust and take them out. Two birds with one stone. Also, I love watching these kinds of videos and making these kinds of videos. So, without further ado, let's get the games. Here you go. So on to my switches. I have a total of three switches and yeah, that's a lot, but they're different. First we have my OG switch, my original switch. These have the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword um, Joy-Cons with them and I love them so much. They're so, so cute. Now this is the version two switch, so there's that. I traded in my OG OG for the new e switch, which I think a lot of people should do because the old one runs like a brick now. And here we have something really special. It's a gift I got from one of my subscribers, Peter. He's a good friend and a mod to the channel. And that is the Animal Crossing switch. Just the back alone is the best part with the engraving stuff on it. And I just love it. And lastly, we got the baby of the family. And that is my Switch Lite. Now, I love this so much. I used to not use it a lot, but recently I've been whipping it out a lot um, outside of the house. And you guys know that I love to decorate the heck out of my Switch light. Cute little thing, very, very handy, and they come in a host of colors. Now, there is a true blue, but we all know this is the true blue, the better blue. So here are the games. Now, I've been collecting Switch games since it came out, so it'll be like almost five years, which is crazy. So yeah, I didn't buy all these in one go. All these games are games that I've played, beaten, or haven't gotten to yet. So I'm going to just show the game, let you know if I played it or beat it or whatever, and I'm something about it. So buckle up guys and gals, because this is gonna be a long one. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna pick them at random. Now first off, we have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond for the Nintendo Switch. I know it has a lot of controversies with the chibi style, but it's still a great game nonetheless. And the next game we have is Splatoon 2, a classic. I love it, and I can't wait for Splatoon 3. Next, we have Fire Emblem Three Houses. Now, this was actually a steelbook, my only steelbook in my collection. I kind of wish I had the regular version because it sticks out like a sore thumb. I love the steelbook um, image, though. It's very pretty. And the back looks like that. Now as for Three Houses, I love Fire Emblem, and Three Houses is no exception. Okay. And next we have Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. Now I play this a little bit here and there, but not as much. And it's cool. I like it. It's a fun game for friends and family and stuff like that. So yeah. And next we have Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This game is awesome and I loved it. Next we have The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Now this game is really sad and it tackles a lot of uh, deep topics so you know don't go into it blind. But I didn't really finish it. The gameplay is kind of like a dungeon crawler which is not really my thing but it's still cute and I liked it. So Next we have AI The Sumnum Files. Now this game is so good and there's a sequel coming out this year too so please play this game. It's so underrated and I highly recommend it. And next we have another favorite of mine and that is Monster Hunter Rise. I love this game. I did a review for it and it's just awesome. You get a ton of hours. I just love this game so much. Oh, and if I have a worth the buy or review for any of these games, I'll link it down below. Alright, next one is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Need I say more? This is the game that came with the Switch on launch and it is an amazing game. Where is Breath of the Wild 2, Nintendo? Needless to say, I love The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and it's currently my favorite game of all time. And that's saying something. Next we have a very cute game and that is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I actually really love this game and I, at first I didn't like it but then when I started playing it and using the Pokeball I found it really cute and charming. Coffee time! Mm. 
continuing on that Pokemon train, we have Pokemon Sword. I, I really didn't like it. But I have it in my collection because it's a Pokemon game and it's probably going to be worth something, if anything, in the future. But I still didn't like it. Alright, next game is Final Fantasy X. I ended up liking the game. Not my favorite at all in the Final Fantasy pantheon, but it's still a really good game. I beat Final Fantasy X, but I haven't beat Final Fantasy X 2. Alright, and next we have a recent one, and that is Shin Megami Tensei V. Now this game was really, really fun. I love the gameplay and stuff, but the story kinda sucks. But it's still a good game, and I got tons of hours out of it. So yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, next game we have Paper Mario the Origami King. Now, if you guys haven't been to my channel yet, I'm doing a playthrough of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. But... Nonetheless, I still love this game and I actually did a playthrough for this one too. Now next game I have is Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain. Now, it's in the plastic because I haven't tried it yet and no I'm not streaming it because I'm gonna embarrass myself. Now we're getting to the next pile and first we have Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. I love this game. I think I love it more than Hybrid Warriors Age of Calamity just because of the amount of weapons you could use. And next game we have Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Well, there you go. That's more accurate. Um, I don't like Mario 64. It's just, it, it, it triggers the worst out of me in gaming. For some reason, I hate it. I just hate it. I even streamed it for you guys because I love you guys and I hated it. I, I love the stream, but I hated the game. Anyways, my favorite is Super Mario Sunshine and then Super Mario Galaxy, which I also really love because of the galaxy and stuff. And it's because it's not Mario 64. And the next game we have is Mario Party Super Salt. I can't with you guys. I haven't won one game. To tell you how annoying it was, I was in first place and then one turn a night and then f Anyways, this is a great game to play with your friends and family and I highly recommend it. It's very fun. Alright, and the next game we have is Mario Kart 8, a classic. Need I say more, get it, though I do need a Mario Kart 9. And the next game we have here is Bravely Default 2, one of my favorite Switch RPGs. Next we have, oh, a good one, a very good one, and that is Metroid Dread. I love this game, and of course I beat it. I think my runtime was like 10 hours or something, and it could be really hard, but it's a really good game with satisfying gameplay. Highly, highly recommend. It was nominated for Game of the Year, for Jesus' sake, so it's a really good game. Next, we have another Shin Megami Tensei game, and that is Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remastered. Now, I haven't finished this game yet. I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, I don't know why I stopped playing it, but it's really good. The port is really bad, but I hear that it's, you know, manageable at least. And the next game is Octopath Traveler, another one of my favorite JRPGs on the Switch. Alright, and the next game we have here is Neo The World Ends With You. Now this game is really, really underrated. I can kind of see why, because Square Enix kind of f the marketing for this, but it's still a really good game. And the next game we have is Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, not worth your money, it runs like doo-doo, but you could get it cheap if you really want it. Nostalgia trip, basically. Oh, and one of my favorites is Bayonetta. Well, Bayonetta 2 is in here also, and I can't wait for Bayonetta 3. Like, I'm so hyped for that stuff. I am like, oh, she whipping butt, and she whipping it good. I just love Bayonetta as a character and the games as well. Plus that platinum blessed gameplay. Ooh, very nice. And next we have Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. This game scarred me. It's a psychological horror and, um, yeah, play at your own risk, pretty much. Uh, trigger warnings on this one. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, which is a compilation of the previous Monkey Ball 1 and 2 and 3. Very good, and I highly recommend. 
And next we have Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Um, I haven't finished it. I haven't even played it that much. But um, yeah, it's a Donkey Kong game. And next we have Altair Lalua, the Scion of Arland. And I can't wait to play this after Sophie. Now I'm playing Sophie first because she has a sequel coming out later this year. So yay. But yeah, I'm going to play this one once I get the chance to play it. Next we have Dragon Quest Builders 2. I love this game so much and yes, it's better than Minecraft. Yeah, I said that. Now, this one is good because it has the building aspect plus the story aspect, which is a very, very nice combo. And next we have Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Encore. Now this is a spin-off slash crossover between Shimigami Tensei and Fire Emblem with its own unique pop style to it. Highly recommend, it's really underrated and it's really good. The gameplay is really satisfying. So yeah, if you like two string combos, this is your game. <laughs> Next we have Valkyria Chronicles 4. Now I love this game. If you like Fire Emblem, but in modern years, I think you'll like it because you got your tanks and guns and stuff like that. But it still has that strategy gameplay like Fire Emblem. Highly recommend. And then we have The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Yes, I love this game so much. It's so good. And I'm happy to see that a lot of people gave it a second chance and actually liked it. Next we have Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Now, it's, it speaks for itself. And next we have Super Mario Odyssey. Now, this game is a Mario game like any other Mario game. I highly recommend it. It's very Mario. So, yay. And next we have Sum Sum Festival. Now, this is still in its plastic, but I got it really cheap off of Amazon. And next we have The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, one of my favorite games of last year. I beat it, obviously, and it's just so good. I highly recommend you try it out. And next on the list, we have Animal Crossing, uh, New Horizons. Do I need to say more? It's Animal Crossing, and it's, it's just a good game. And next, we have Monster Hunter's Generations Ultimate. I liked it. It got me into Monster Hunter. Dual Blade for the win, baby. Next we have Cat and Toes Treasure Tracker. I love this game. It's so underrated. It is a puzzler with your own Captain Toad. Next we have Astral Chain. Now I have to do a replay of this because I haven't played it in freaking forever. But it's a really good game. Has that platinum gameplay style too, which is very satisfying. Next we have Starlink Battle for Atlas. You know, this trash fire was everywhere because they couldn't sell. Now we have Cookie Mama Cookstar. Um, you just cook. I mean, basically that. It's fun. It's a good waste of time if you're looking for that. So yeah. Next we have Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. So this is basically Banana Blitz HD version. I love Banana Blitz and more Monkey Ball Madness. Next we have Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition. Not gonna lie, I haven't played this game yet, but since Tales of Arise, I, I don't think I could go back. But I'm gonna give this game a fair try one day. So our next game is Yisate La Cremosa of Donna, and I love this game. It's my first Yisate game, and yeah, it was very, very good. Highly recommend. Next we have Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. I like Mario 3D World. I did not like Bowser's Fury. But it's still, you know, a Mario game, so yay. <laughs> and next we have New Super Lucky's Tale. Now this is a good platformer if you're bad at platforming. <laughs> and it's very easy, the humor is very cute, and I highly recommend. And next we have Kingdom Hearts um, Melody of Memory. It was good. It, it's there. <laughs> I mean, it's better than Kingdom Hearts and for the cloud, I'll tell you that. But yeah, it was good. I beat it. Next, we have Altier Ryza Ever Darkness and the Secret Hideout. I love this game. It got me into the Altier series. And yeah, it's a good starting point for any new people. Next, we have Puyo Puyo Tattoos 2. Now this game is super super cute. It's a puzzler you can pick up and put down. Next, we have Fire Emblem Warriors. 
this is the same case as Hyrule Warriors where it's just so satisfying to beat a bunch of people <laughs> in one sword swoop and stuff. Though I do like Hyrule Warriors more, but this one's still good. And next we have New Super Mario's U Deluxe. What can I say about this game? They keep adding it every console generation and you can tell by the title. It's really weird. But yeah, it's just a Mario game. And next we have Luigi's Mansion 3. This game was super fun and I highly recommend if you like Mario or Luigi. And I just loved it. More Luigi games please. And next we have The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I think this is like a perfect remaster. I think this is how remasters should be treated with games that are from older titles, especially handhelds. Anyways, I highly recommend this game. It was very fun to revisit this old classic. All right, and we're nearing towards the end, so get prepared. First we have Mario Golf Super Rush. Um, it's good. The online's kind of bad though. That's why I kind of stopped playing or streaming it. And sticking to the sports theme, we have Mario Tennis Aces. Now this suffers the same thing as Mario Golf, which basically, they didn't really add that much to the game to make it stand out. Alright, now we have Super Mario Maker 2. Not gonna lie, I haven't touched this game in a while. Mostly because the levels get me... Get me angry. <laughs> and the next game is Overcooked All You Can Eat. Now, it's still in its plastic because I haven't played yet. You kind of need players to play the game. You can't really go in solo. So I'm waiting for more players if you're interested. Next we have Trials of Mana. This game is trash fire. And next we have a game that was in my game of the year list and that is No More Heroes 3. I loved it, it was an amazing experience, and I love streaming it with you guys. And next we have Yoshi's Crafted World. Now this game is super cute, but not gonna lie, I kinda miss Yoshi's Woolly World a little bit more. But if you just need a nice, chill, cozy game, Yoshi has you covered. He's super cute. And next we have Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Now this is kind of like a Skyrim, but from Capcom. It's really good. But it's really bad in some parts. And next we have Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I love this game. It is so fun and it's so cute. And next we have Room Factory 4 Special. I really liked it, but not gonna lie, I can't wait for Room Factory 5. Next we have Story of Seasons Friends of Manual Town. Now, I love this game. So yeah, I highly recommend it. Next we have Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Yes, this game is so good. So good. If you're looking for another JRPG for your Switch, this is your this is your game. It's so good. Next we have another Juggernaut and that is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So after you play Xenoblade Chronicles 1, you could jump right into 2 for the Switch. It is very very good, but I am going to say I like the first one better. But this one is still really, really good. Next we have Monster Hunter Stories Wings of Ruined. Now I'm in the middle of this game, but like that awkward middle where should I start again or should I just try to figure out where I left off kind of middle. But yeah, nonetheless, it's a very, very cute game and I love it. Next we have new Pokemon Snap, which admittedly I have to give much love to it because I haven't played it in a while. And next is Ring Fit Adventures. Now I should be playing more of this game, but that's a long story. Anyways, next is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2022. Now this is the last Mario and Sonic Olympic game game and not gonna lie, I'm sad to see it go because I'm a fan of them. And the next game we have Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Now this is another good JRPG for the Switch. Um, not gonna lie though, I'm kind of in the middle and I really am not in the mood to play. I don't know, the gameplay is kind of weird. It's kind of like a Pokemon mixed with something else. But um, Nino Kuni 2 I did love and I played the whole thing. That one's way better. And it's actually on the Switch now. I played it for the PS4 though. So yeah. Cute, but not gonna lie, the gameplay is really holding it back. And 
next we have Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I love this game so much. It is funny and I can't wait for the sequel. Next we have Metopia for the Switch. Um, this was originally a 3DS game and they ported it with, you know, enhanced features. It's very, very cute and charming. Now we're on to the last three games, so let's go. Uh, first one we have is Kirby Stars Allies. I love this game. Kirby means a lot to me. Check out my Kirby video that I did. And next we have Disney Magical World 2 in Enhanced Edition. Now this is a game from the 3DS, but like I said, it's enhanced and they moved it to the Switch. Next we have Story of Seasons, Pioneers of All of Town. This game is really good. It's a farming sim, you can't go wrong with these, and it's very chill. So if you like that chill, cozy vibe, this won't disappoint, and I highly recommend. It's a very good game. So that is it for my Switch collection for 2021 slash 2022. It is a lot of games, I know, but like I said, I buy them when I want them, and it's been five years in the making, basically. Now, that doesn't count my digital games. I usually don't buy digital games on my Switch, but I do have a few. But I won't go over it here because, like, it's, this video's already long enough, and it's going to be a nightmare to edit. So, yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. If you like this video, hit that like button, and if you love my content and would love to see more, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified when a video drops or a live stream drops. You can follow me on Twitter at Plays. Tell me in the comments down below um, your Switch collection. If it's too much to type, then just like tell me which one that you like the most from your collection. Yay. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and as always, play a good game. Peace, peace.